Okay, so this video is basically for MTFs and FTMs to be able to uh, come out as trans. So female to male trans or male to female trans. Now, um, it might be easier, easier. So these are a couple ways that you could come out, and these are ways I'll be talking about. Maybe if you're a verbal person, uh, you could talk verbally to your parents, or if you're more of a writer, uh, write, write them a letter, send them an email, or if if you if you're not too sure like how your parents are gonna interpret it maybe um, make them a quiz so those are some of the ideas I'm gonna give if you have more suggestions please share them because those are the three ideas I know of because I've got some friends who are MTFs or FTMs as well that use either very verbally or very uh, lettery emaily or a quiz. So a little bit about myself. I'm an FTM. I went from Michaela to Adam. I go to a junior high school, so seven to nine. For the first two years of junior high, I went to school as Michaela. So for grade seven and eight, I went to school as uh, Michaela. And in grade nine, everybody knew me. Everybody knows me. Gone to know me. I decided to change a little and become more comfortable in my skin. I decided to go to Adam. Now, one thing I've got to mention is uh, it's new. It's September 2013, and I've only came out like June, maybe even a little bit before that of 2013. So I haven't started hormones. Or I've started binding, but no hormone hormones, nothing like that yet. Um, and I just want to. Um, give you some ideas of maybe coming up. Um, yeah. So, yeah. If you're more of a verbal type, this is the time that you want to start paying attention. If you want to become verbal, but sh you don't know how, or you want to listen to the three ideas and go with which one you feel more comfortable with, by all means, you can look. So, um, Let's see, a verbal person. Okay, if you're more comfortable as someone speaking, so verbally telling people stuff, um, especially to your parents, you're totally complete of saying anything to your parents, yeah, then maybe call upon a family meeting with both your parents or a parent, or maybe with your family. Depends. I, I don't know how open a lot of people are. So if you want, talk to both your parents. Talk to the, talk to one of your parents that you're more comfortable with. Uh, talk with one parent at a time. Talk with your siblings first. Talk with your parents first. Bring or bring the whole family, whichever is more comfortable for you. Um, maybe call a family meeting. Excuse me, family meeting in the living room over dinner if you're that secure uh in uh, not secure but that level of um confidence to do it over the dinner table or maybe if you're out driving to like dairy queen or like a hockey game or something like that maybe then um but i would suggest starting out with asking the question uh to your parents like do you support the lgbt community so the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender community, and uh, listen to their answer. If it's yes, then hey, your job's a lot easier. If it's no, then your job's going to be a little harder to convince them that you are who you are. Now, uh, yeah. Let, let's see, how are we going to put so now, if you're more of a verbal person, talk to them. And, uh, I, like, I'd start off with a random question. Like, I started off with a random question. We were either talking about the GSA at my school, or a spirit program, or something that I was in. And, uh, the random question popped up to my, my dad. 
I'm like, Dad, do you believe in the LGBT community? He asked me what it was. I explained, it's the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender community. He gave me the answer of, we're all human, so it doesn't really matter. If your parents give an answer like that, hey, I'd open it up. I'd maybe wait a little bit, uh, not to get them all clued, uh, but, you know, hey, I'd, I'd bring up the fact that you're an FTM or an MTF. Um... But, yeah, so start with that question. And uh, if you are if you feel that your parents are ready to learn that you're an FTM or MTF, maybe uh, right away, week, day, couple months, couple weeks uh, apart, even maybe even a couple hours. I don't know. Depends on how confident you are with your parents. Maybe then uh, talk to them about what's going on so um so maybe you could start off with hey mom dad brother sister whoever you're talking to do you remember when i asked you that question like um do you support the lgbt community and they'll either say yes or no uh and you know what to do from there either like if they say no kind of Fresh their brain if they say yes continue on like go on and say well I've been doing some thinking and uh, I think I am for sure trans transgender I for sure feel like I'm an FTM or MTF please insert your own because I don't know there's a lot of people out there who say hey I'm an FTM and their parents are like that that's funny because you know like, if it's an FTM making a video for an FTM, uh, maybe an MTF will watch it and say, I'm an, I'm an FTM, or vice versa. So, make sure you use your proper, your proper one. Um, and, uh, kind of explain to them how you feel about it, like, how you feel about being, um, in your skin. Like, if you say dad or mom. I'm not comfortable in my own skin. I want to be able to be who I am and come out as who I am and pretty much be me and kind of talk to them about it. Um, I'd suggest maybe going to go see someone who specializes in that uh, and talking to them. I'm working on getting someone to talk to right now with my dad and people like that um so just try and bring it up casually or maybe just call a meeting uh, if you want your best friend there maybe bring your best uh, excuse me your best friend or uh maybe write it in a song or something you're comfortable with with talking to your parents right now if you're more of a letter person or uh, email kind of whiz tech kind of person this is what I did I wrote up now uh, a lot of people are comfortable with talking to their parents but it's on the subject that they feel eh, not so much on right I wrote a letter because I was afraid of how my dad would react if I sat him down and uh, talk to him about it so I kind of wrote a letter saying, explaining myself that, hey, dad, uh, you know, you remember that question I asked you? Yeah, I want to bring that question up again. So you did say you believed, right? And uh, just kind of bring it up in the letter, like, or the email, like, mom, dad, I, I don't know who you're talking to, but, you know, y you'll know who you're going to send the email or letter to. And uh, kind of say, I was afraid to bring this up to you because I wouldn't know how you would react. So, um, this is how I feel. This is who I am. This is kind of where I want to go. And, uh, you know, a lot of people who've been held back from coming out as an MTF and FTM will watch this video. Maybe some younger kids will watch the video. I'm not too sure the age group. So 
that will watch this video, but watching, but writing a letter or even an email, um, is maybe one of the best ways to go. And uh, uh, I I I feel that the letters most likely the one way to go. I trust it because you can send a letter uh, to your parents first, telling them like, I want to know how you feel about this. I want to know if you feel comfortable talking about it. If not, let me know and I'll r write another letter to tell you how I really feel. Now, if you just want to write letters, then just write them letters and have them talk to you. Tell them, I want to talk to you about this, but I don't know how, so maybe get a letter thing going on, email thing going on, right? Uh, I wrote a letter, three letters actually, before my dad actually agreed to me, agreed with me to do this. So, you know, it doesn't really matter on if you want to write emails or letters. Uh, just bring it up casually, like, do you remember this, this, yeah, so kind of like that. Uh, the quiz, the quiz, the test. This is one that isn't as popular. Because a lot of people don't know how to ask the questions. But if you already already just casually brought up the are you an LGTB believer? Yes or no? Then hey, you've already kind of brought up brought it up. Now if you just want to write it all on one quiz, I'd suggest start with like some questions for like homework or something. Like if it's maybe even during the summertime, like, oh, Hey mom, I just have a question for you. You remember when we learned about um, I don't know, like ab adaptation or something like that? Yeah, what's the adaptation that suits well with like a I don't know, like a goat or a duck or something? And then maybe have maybe get them to explain and be like, "Well, what like something that kind of uh, like a quiz or something that might relate to like uh, something that's been going on at school or something and then um, kind of like so um, you know question two uh, I, I don't know just I'm coming up with questions on the spot so you know so adaptations are and then maybe go into what about biology like so in biology or in health class or we learned how the sy nerve systems work i don't know that's part of grade 8 science in alberta i think i know i know i did it in grade 8 but you know. um like bring it bring it up like slowly get to the subject and maybe all of a sudden go into if I like have a couple questions and then go into if I were trans would you still accept me if I was an MTF or an FTM would you still accept me for who I am yes or no and slowly get into details like that now then then again you can be by yourself you can send it to them you can have the whole family you can whatever right it's up to you how you want to come uh so those are the three ideas three kind of ways that i've heard of coming out there's another way i've heard of uh my friend's friend had done this and they explained to us but um like if you don't communicate well with your parents Maybe have them come up to your room one day, or to your room one day, and say, I, I need you to come to my room. I just need to ask a question. Or maybe, I need your help on this one outfit. Hide in your closet. Have a little sign say, saying, I'm coming out of my closet. And, uh, like, 
I'm coming out of my closet. I'm trans. I'm an MTM. I'm gay. I'm lesbian. Whatever. Right? And, uh, yeah. That's another idea I've heard of. If you have any more questions, please don't be afraid to leave them in the comments. And, uh, I'll try and answer them as best as I can. Rather than that, I think that's it. So, you know, whatever. I hope coming out is a lot easier than it is for some people. So, um, yeah, good luck. Good luck on your journey.